how can I come up with an idea for a business that I can start from home? I'm gonna share with you four powerful questions that you can ask yourself to help get your ideas flowing and to help you to see what ideas you could really turn into a successful business. First thing, I want you to get a pen and a piece of paper and I want you to make a list of 10 skills that you have. 10 skills that you have. So for me, for example, I can play the piano. That is a skill that I have. I can make videos. That is a skill that I have. I have started a podcast, so I know how to create podcasts. That is a skill I have. I've written a book. That is a skill that I have. So what are the skills that you have? Big skills to really small skills. We all have skills, but it's just that so often we don't really acknowledge our own skills. And so often we think everyone's got the same skills as us. And it's not true. Get into the flow of writing out. So what 10 things are you really skilled at? What 10 things are you really good at? And write it down. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing I want you to do is I want you to get another piece of paper and I want you to write a list of 10 ways you could be of service to somebody. So what are 10 ways you could be of service? So for example, like me, for example, I could teach someone how to play the piano badly. (laughs) Nevertheless, I could still teach them how to play the piano badly. It's a way I could be of service to someone else. I could also be of service by teaching someone how to start a podcast. I could be of service by teaching someone how to create videos. So if, for example, you're really good at cooking, you could be of service to someone by teaching someone how to become a cook. So what are 10 ways you could be of service to someone? If you think about your skill set, really just explore different avenues. Also think about like, what do people often come to you about? Like, do you find that people come to you and ask you questions on the same topic? Like. For me, I always found throughout school and university that sometimes people will come to me for like advice and like for, they wanted to be inspired. They wanted like a little motivational boost. And so sometimes people will come to me for that. And I found myself really flourishing and opening up when I would start talking to people about that kind of personal development stuff. Like I just got into my groove. I just felt like I was in my zone of genius. So like, have you ever experienced that where you just feel like you're in your zone of genius? And what is that? Like, what is that? What does that look like? So just have a think and write out 10 ways you could be of service. The next thing I want you to do, the next question I want you to ask yourself is this. What are some experiences you've had in your lifetime that you think would be amazing and powerful to relate to other people? So something that may be a transformation that you've had, something that's happened to you, a situation that you've experienced where you've had a challenge and you've overcome it. Or an amazing experience, it could have been like when you went traveling, you had an amazing experience and it would be really cool to share that experience with other people. Other people might wanna know about that experience and how you did it. So there's um, someone who I interviewed on my podcast called Ali Kazaza and her experience was she was a mum and she was just overwhelmed, really stressed out, not really enjoying being a mum and people just kept saying to her, well that's just the way it is now because you're mum and that's the way it is, it's hard. And she was like, surely there has to be another way. And so she ended up decluttering her home and doing a series of things which helped her to reduce her depression and it just made such a huge impact in her life. It just transformed her life. She found more joy and it was amazing. And so she realized that was an experience that she could start to share with others because she'd realized something. She'd realized, wow, I decluttered, I did these things and it's just radically changed my life. And this could radically change other people's lives. So have a think about what experiences that you've had that would be really cool to share that you think that would impact other people in a positive way. So for me, for example, when I started the Female Entrepreneur Association, I was doing this mission success challenge for myself and I was trying to figure out like how I could get out of my own way to create success. That is an experience I've shared over and over and over again with other people, like how to condition yourself for success. That has helped them because I experienced it. I experienced feeling stuck and frustrated and in my own way. And then I experienced what it was like to get out of my own way. And I shared the steps I took, the experience that I had to get me from one place to the other place. So are there any experiences that you could share? Have a think and write it down. Fourthly, the last thing is to really think about your passions. What do you love? What lights you up? Like when you have a conversation with a friend, like what are those conversations where you just start flowing, the words just flow out of you and you just are in your groove, you're in your zone. Like it's just, you just love it. You light up inside. Like what is it that makes you light up? What do you love? What do you love talking about? What are your passions? What are you interested in? Really have a think about that. And like, again, just write it all out on a piece of paper, everything. Even if you're like, I'm never gonna create a business in this. It doesn't matter. Just like write it all out, get it all down on paper. 
So once you finish these exercises, you should have four pieces of paper or four lists of different things. So skills, you have things you're good at, how you can be of service, experiences that you've had that you think could impact others if you shared it, and things you're passionate about, things that you love. So once you've got all those things, so going through and circling the things that you feel drawn to, that you think, huh, that could be a really cool idea, that could really work, and just start circling those ideas, and then get your top five, your top five ideas. And then from that, just think like, what, could, what feels like it would be fun? What feels like it would be fun to explore? Now, with your ideas, especially if you're gonna build a business from home, you could look at, okay, I wanna create a digital product on this. You could create like a workbook on something that you've experienced, or it could be, okay, I want to create a little mini course. I experienced what it's like to become a really good cook and I wanna share my experiences and my skill set on becoming a good cook and start looking at maybe a course that you could create and just have fun with this. Just play around with it and just lean into your ideas and just look at the possibilities. You could, once you've got your ideas, just go online and just start exploring other people who maybe are doing something in a similar industry. Um, go and look on Pinterest and see like, for that particular topic or that particular skill set, what pops up, what pops up on Google and just have fun exploring it. But for now, that is one really powerful step that you've taken once you've answered those four questions to just uncovering ideas that can turn into a business that you can start from home. You need to tap into the power of you, especially if you're gonna build a business from home. This is about you tapping into your own experiences, your skill set, your knowledge, your expertise. Jada Selner, she did a masterclass with us and she said, there is no such thing as a unique message, only unique messengers. You are the unique messenger. Every single one of us is a unique messenger. You are what is gonna make your idea so powerful. And so I want you to really tune in to what you have within you to help you to think of an idea that could be perfect for you. And it is okay to come up with a million ideas. <laughs> it is okay to allow yourself to just open up and to allow, allow all the ideas to flow, the crazy ideas that unrealistic ideas, all of it, it's all amazing, it's all wonderful, so don't block it, don't stop yourself from like being creative and allowing yourself to think big. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope you found it helpful, I hope these questions help to crack you open and really get those ideas flowing. Um, if you want more from me, then definitely check out my free quiz that I have, which is gonna really help give you an action plan so that you can start your own really successful business. So definitely check that out at femaleentrepreneurassociation.com forward slash quiz. And I will see you next time for another episode of Ask Carrie.